We welcome you back to our program. And yesterday was, of course, the regular monthly meeting of United Laguna Hills Mutual, their final meeting for the year 2012. But uh, the board is already uh, looking ahead towards 2013 with uh, responsibilities and challenges that they faced. President Roger Turner joins us on the program today. And Roger, uh, last week, last Friday, we had a special meeting that we televised here on Channel 6. Um, and they were discussing something that has become quite an issue in, in the last month or so, several months really, in United. That's the leasing policy. Can you go back maybe to the early days of the community and then to the 70s? What was the original intent on that and then the change in the 70s that we are still living with today? Well, I'll do the best I can right. on that. <laughs> when, the, uh, when it was established, it was established as a totally homeowner or, or member uh, community. And the reason for that was really is because it was, it was an affordable living community. And it was expected that people would, being a senior community, it was expected that people would live there. It was not planned or organized as a investor community because it's an affordable living for senior place. Right. And that is the way it was for many years until I think about 18 years ago, uh, there was an arrangement agreed with HUD, who was of course the, the, the people that provided the money to build this place, that they would allow for a six month leasing, six months out of a 12 month period. And that's been in place now for about 18 years. And, uh, and I have to say for my experience in it, I think it's been a very good and a very effective mm -hmm. thing. It allows people to if they like to lease their unit for six months and make a little money enough really to pay their <coughs> assessments for the year. <coughs> it also allows a lot of people, including myself, to come and visit the village. I mean, when you come and can live here for several months, it's an opportunity to really get kind of get an inside look at what life is like here. So, And you're typical of a lot of people who have done that lease from somebody who owned a home here and then eventually moved in on your own. So it, it's, it's an effective, if you will, marketing tool, albeit maybe it wasn't intended that way. It was intended to, for the person who travels a lot or needs to be away for several months, their place, they still have to make that monthly payment whether they're here or not. Well, exa so it exactly. helps cover the, cover the, the deal. Anyway, I think it's, uh, I think, you would find many people that have taken advantage of that yeah. and have been pleased with the opportunity. Anyway, uh, yes, as you indicated this, this last year, there has been a considerable uh, amount of publicity by those who would like to change the policy or they would like to change it to one year, which is pretty much effectively, you know, opening it up uh, forever. Yeah. And uh, the thing of it is, is that there have been, uh, there's two things I would like to say. One, you know, very few people in United lease their places, just as a matter of, of policy. Uh, so most of these people are not familiar with and really didn't come here, you know, with the idea of leasing. They came, they're seniors, they're retired. Right. They came to live here. Right. And so consequently, their awareness of what it might be as a matter of change is really not there because they simply haven't been living that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's another thing, there is a number of uh, changes in California law that have affected. Some of these are designed to protect people that have come in, purchased a place, and then the association makes changes which are unfavorable to them. So it's very important that we are aware of these things. Yeah. So this meeting was really to provide an opportunity for the board and for all the members to learn a little bit more about how United manages the leasing operations mm -hmm. here and also to get some information on the legal side, the legal consideration. You actually had two, two parts of it. One was from PCM staff, mm -hmm. uh, Pamela Bashline discussed the procedures that take place in house here when somebody chooses to lease exactly. their place out, the, what they have to go through, what the new person coming in has to go through. And then your attorney, Sandra Gottlieb, shared, as you said, some of the legal aspects of all of this as well. You're exactly right. Well, uh, Pamela, is, as many of us have learned, is, is very objective. 
<laughs> she's very straight about her work, so all she's doing is just simply conveying exactly how the process works and some information about it. Yeah. The, <clears throat> this was not a meeting of pros and cons. It was not a meeting of speculation. So there is more to do, obviously, yeah. Yeah. to understand why people want to make the change, for example. Right. The meeting will be replayed, if you missed it, at scheduled for tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, Thursday evening here on Channel 6. Uh, I believe that's, oh, I'm sorry, no, it's the 19th, it's next week, next Wednesday at uh, 6 o'clock, so that'll be coming up. We urge you folks to tune in at that time and uh, catch the replay in case they missed it. Okay, yes, uh, what I wanted to say is I think it's important because this would impact every member of yeah. the community. This yeah. is not something that just a few, but it would impact every member. So consequently, uh, the board has a responsibility to represent all of the members and I think the members have a responsibility to communicate, mm -hmm. you know, what their position is. There's multiple ways they can do that. One of the ways is sending an email. They can send that to info at pcm-inc.org. That's a way they can do it, or they can write a letter to the board. Uh, you know, there, are, there are many ways to communicate right. with it. Right. Anyway, I thought that that was very important, and according to information I have, this last Friday's meeting will be shown again on Thursday the 13th at 2 p.m. That's, uh, we may okay. want to double check that. I, I, I was going to say, we're, what we're talking about tomorrow will be a replay of this week's meeting. The United and actually regular board meeting. And actually meeting. that'll start at 1.30 tomorrow. Yeah. But then the other replay we're talking about is, is coming up next week. And people miss that the, the meeting. The leasing meeting. The leasing meeting as well. It was interesting because uh, some folks have tried to equate what happens in United with what's been happening in Third Mutual, which obviously is a different type of community. It's uh, a condo community as opposed to a co-op, which is United. And so the rules there, but they've also tightened up. We had people owning five and six and living in one and leasing out five. They've tightened up those rules as well in Third Mutual. You're exactly right. And part of the reason is because they are up to about 30% of leases. And, and it is interesting and naturally everybody takes a look at, well, what about them? Well, of course, there's a fundamental difference. Uh, in United, the corporation owns all of the buildings and the land. And in third, each of the members has a deed for their condo. So the member takes care of, you know, the responsibility of his place. So when he leases, he has a little bit more involvement. Yeah. In, in United, the owner is, of course, always responsible, but it's actually the corporation that owns it. And the corporation really doesn't get in the face of members. Uh, there is a permit that's involved that people fill out when they want to lease their place, but otherwise the arrange arrangements are made between the member and the person that they lease to. Right. And, you know, at this point that has worked fine, so mm -hmm. we're not there so, to change everything. So as of today, the six-month rule is still there. People are still allowed to lease their place yes. in United for up to six months out of any 12-month period. That is correct. And that rule is we think is continuing for some time. We'll see if well. there's changes in the future one way or the other, but as of right now, that's, that's the reality. Another aspect that comes up when we talk about uh, United Mutual and Third Mutual, Mutual 50 for that matter, is the relationship with the Golden Rain Foundation. And recently a meeting was held to talk about something that some people have, uh, they find it mysterious. It's the Golden Rain Trust. And what's the difference between Golden Rain, GRF, and what they have and own? and the Golden Rain Trust and what they have and own. And I guess the boards are in the middle of trying to help understand that and help explain it to their residents. Well, in fact, we had a very good meeting that was really sponsored by GRF to provide a presentation to all of the mutuals. And it is, it's certainly none of us, I think, are, are legally going to explain all of that, but essentially the trust is simply a legal device where all of the property that is used in for the community service that is what GRF takes care of is owned by the the various mutuals. GRF uses that to conduct the services that are provided really for the community. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there are some 
a few things that need to be adjusted, corrected, if you will. And so there's an, an initiative uh, where all of the mutuals will provide members on a committee to take a look at these things and see if we can't get those things corrected. But I think it, it was a very good meeting, a very positive meeting, and I think that we are going to make progress there and, and work, to work better together. Right. And while it's not done on a weighted basis, I know you have a good level of representation on the Golden Rain Board of people who live in United Mutual, so yeah. they're able to maybe uh, help convey that side of the discussion with, with you and your membership as well. And we noticed some of those folks actually attending your meeting yesterday. Uh, and of course, a lot of your directors, yourself included, do attend some of those Golden Rain meetings as well. All of your board members are on, not only on committees within third or on United, but also on Golden Rain committees as well. So there's lots of cross, uh, cross communication going on there. Yes, there's an interchange and it's a, it's a good, good organization and it's well that people understand that. Yeah, and yeah. Of course, there's a lot of things they ask us about it and we don't have any control over them, they're GRF. Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. and we get that at the time of the meeting when uh, the residents have a chance to ask questions. They usually get uh, up to three minutes, uh, members' comments of things not on the agenda and usually at most meetings, whether it's United or Third, there's at least some of those questions and the president or somebody will say, well, thank you for your question. That's actually a Golden Rain matter. We would suggest you talk to the proper Golden Rain Committee on that. And that helps people to kind of understand those relationships as well. Although they're maybe wanting an instant answer from you, uh, <laughs> they really need to go see somebody in Golden Rain about all of those. Exactly. Things. I'd like to quickly mention that, uh, that all of the representatives, the presidents from all of the mutuals also had a meeting with Laguna Hills. You know, Laguna Hills, this Laguna Hills urban village, which is, in, in my terms, is the mall and the shops yes, over there. Yes. They obviously, they have some development plans, right. and these plans have been going on for some years. And in fact, in the Oak Brook, Oak Brook Village Shopping Center is where some action is going to be taken. And we had a good meeting with them about an exchange of concerns. Obviously, United is adjacent to this area, so United, the United Board is very much looking out for anything that occurs to protect our members. But anyway, we had a very good meeting. In fact, we encourage more publicity, encourage them to use TV6 and the Globe, and so I, I don't know whether they've scheduled anything yet, but I think that all of us in United will be learning more. Yeah about that. One of the questions that was interesting yesterday and the gentleman that asked is someone who used to work for Caltrans so he has a feel for traffic and traffic flow. Yes. Uh, Director Dallas asked about what was the impact going to be as far as daily trips by this new remodel over there and I guess it's going to include some new shops and businesses and possibly some housing as well yes, so it should be correct. a little bit different setup over there. Yes and of course that has been studied and that will be revealed. Right, as, right. Yes. And a lot of uh, planning goes into these things, environmental impact reports and all kinds of things. So uh, they haven't started tearing things apart yet over there, but no. uh, it's good that they're keeping you folks in the loop and you're choosing to be involved in the discussions as well, yes. especially because of United is right across the street from this area. And we're asking them to give more pub publicity to our village Sounds here. Good. So, Sounds good. Uh, I wanted to say one more thing. Uh, Rob, I, I just would like to say personally thanks to you for all the you have done in support of our organization. And I can say that on behalf of all of those in United that have worked with you and shared in getting their message out to the community. And we know that you're moving on to new things and we congratulate you and wish you the best. But thank you very much for your very professional and knowledgeable service. Well, Roger, thank you for those kind words. It's been my pleasure to work with the directors and it's always uh, always interesting every year we get a new <laughs> bunch of folks and a new president usually and so it's always fun to get those folks involved here on channel six and help get the message out that's happening at our board so thank you very much and appreciate those good thoughts uh, as i like to say it's it's a team effort here at channel six the person they see on the screen is backed up by some great folks behind right. the cameras in the control room so right. keeps us uh, keeps us looking honest out here thanks roger thank you good, very much good having you on the program today again if you missed that meeting yesterday of uh, united's regular monthly meeting a replay tomorrow Starts tomorrow, Thursday at 1.30 here on Channel 6. Catch that and then watch the Channel 6 schedule for more information on that uh, meeting that was held last Friday as well. We'll be back with more. We're going to be taking you over to the Village Greens, a place you might want to do some holiday shopping as we continue on with Channel 6 News for this Wednesday. <music>